Though I'm young, I have experienced a lot of crazy, uh, wacky, fun, interesting things in my life. And I've learned a lot, <clears throat> and I've failed a lot, and I've um, been fortunate enough to uh, succeed a lot. I talk to a lot of successful people, I meet a lot of talented and successful people, and one thing that they tend to have in common, they win more than they lose. To me, that is about um, quality, consistency. It's not just you win, you get lucky one time. And that happens through thousands of hours, tens of thousands of hours of hard work. Mm, man, so many people say they want it and they don't. When I was a kid, um, I've always been the funny guy, the goofy guy, the ambitious one, the one who stood out, the maverick, hence the brand and everything literally everything that I stand for in my vlogs. People would look at me funny, they'd laugh at me, yo, why is he doing that? Why is he wearing orange camo jeans to school? As a fifth grader, I did that. I don't know why I did that. I was just like, yo, I'm different. Everyone else is wearing like denim, that. Your boy wanted to be different, so I did. And I was never afraid or ashamed of that, but at the same time, I would always push myself and work extremely hard so that I could be the, the best. I have this, this competitive instinct in, in me that, and that's what drives me. That's why when I get into drama with my brother or like we're close in subscribers, like you guys are seeing like the mild version of my competitiveness, I will always run faster if there's someone running next to me. That's just how I am, that's how I function. And I know that's what makes me tick. So I like to make myself uncomfortable. I like to surround myself with, myself with people that are gonna challenge me and push me and compete with me. That's how you grow. You have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. And if you lose, if you fail, fine. In fact, please, let me fail. Let me, let me lose. If you can take a hit in the face and get back up and learn from it, that is a win. Consider that a win because you are now better and stronger than you were in the past. It's just like working out. You work out, you work out, you work out. You deplete your muscles, you take your protein shake, and then your muscles heal and you're stronger than you were before. It's the same exact thing. So what am I getting at? Um, when I was young, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I knew what I liked. I knew I loved uh, creating video, but in Ohio, like, Oh, you want to be an actor? <laughs> Go fuck yourself. That's not going to happen. That was the mindset. That was the bubble I lived in, and everyone thought the same exact way. They were what I like to call drones. Do not become a drone. I truly believe that in today's day and age, anyone, listen to me, can become anything they want. I'm holding you back. You don't have to go audition for a movie or a TV show if you don't want. Why don't, or why don't you just create the world yourself? And that is what I did. I refused to let people tell me what I couldn't do. I decided at 15, I was going to become the master of my own destiny. I had surgery on uh, my head. I have a titanium plate in my head. I had surgery on uh, both of my knees. I cut open my calf. This is the scar you see here. Bang, bang. I sprained both my hip flexors and this was all in a period of two years. At one point, you can imagine, I pretty much gave up. Like I was like, dang, life, the world hates me. Life hates me, why, why me? Why, why does all this negative stuff have to happen to me? I was the fastest kid on the football team and I get hurt and I'm out for the entire season. I thought my life was over. I couldn't do leg lifts with the rest of the football team, so I would always stretch instead. Well, guess what, Liu Kang? I stretched for eight months, eight months straight. And then, before you know it, your boy was able to do the splits, which I'm sure you've seen this video. One of the many videos that made me who I am that made me Logan Paul on the internet today. Well, everything happens for a reason. You might not know what it is at the time, but trust in yourself and work hard and believe that you can get through whatever struggle you're going through. Because when I got hurt, I said, fuck it, fuck everybody. I said, I'm, I'm going to be a winner. I'm a champion. I am not gonna let what's happening outside of me, what's happening to my body, affect my brain, affect my mental. So when I was 15, I wrote on this piece of paper, literally got coffee stains on it, the date is 3-8-10, over seven years ago. I got hurt and my mom told me to write these positive affirmations down on a piece of paper. I will work the hardest. I will do extra work. I will go above and beyond. Excel, excel, win, best, excel, win, win, win. I will be the best, I will excel, win. I will be stronger, better, faster, and smarter than last year. I will be a champion. I will be the greatest. I will be the best. I am the best. Excel, 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 excel. I put this 
in my brain. I will gain strength beyond what seems possible. Guys, I was 15. I didn't even know what half this stuff meant or how I was gonna do it, but I put it in my brain because I'm a fucking, I'm a winner and you are too. Everyone should believe that they can win and do whatever they want in their life. It's a beautiful day to be alive. It is a magical time to be a human on planet Earth. And I only got one life on this floating rock in the middle of space. So by the time I die, I'm gonna be sitting in my, my deathbed and I'm gonna be like, damn, I did it right.